Welcome back to this uh, channel. This is uh, AutoCAD for Engineering. This is lesson number 39. In this lesson, we'll uh, talk about the loft command in uh, 3D modeling. Let's start. Let's uh, open a new page. I will start making uh, some uh, small drawing. Just come here to the SQL and I make a simple SQL. We'll make a polygon, just choose here eight sides. The base will be also the center of this one here. Inscribes, and then I make just small one. And we'll also make another SQL from this semi-center, like, like that. I will also make here another drawing, another SQL, make another one from this center and another one from this center. Now I will uh, activate the so the modeling by coming here and then activate the so the modeling. Next step will be uh, go to the unset view and then change to the surf east isometric. I can also change here the to the wireframe to shaded. Now the next step will be I'm gonna activate the the move so i will just uh, and then i will move all this drawing that i have already made so we need to set up that we can also use uh, the loft command before that just come here to the ort and activate the ort just make sure that i have uh, the straight uh, line or the straight drawing in the same direction and then come to the move activate command move select this first object enter the base will be the center and then move up just decide goods and then uh, again activate move select the other object which is the polygon enter the center point will be the base as well and then move up just right there so i would also do the same with uh, this drawing here something enter and then goes up same thing for the small one enter go up so uh we'll just uh, move a little bit this one they are close to each other just move a little bit here so and then come here to move okay now i will also cop both of them i'm gonna copy this one here and also i'm gonna cop this other drawing and so cop this one here i cop and then move to the sides so right now i'm ready to start using the loft command come here to the extrude and then change to the loft command which is this one here so the loft is activated now i can use so we'll start with this one first and then come here select the first one goes to the second one and then go to the third one and then enter now we have here three options so we have guides path and the cross section only we'll start with a this uh, section cross section only and then so we, we have here the drawing now so as you can see the drawing are the same but if i change the position the order will we will have a different shape see what will happen activate the loft we'll start now from the bottom now go to the to the top and then to go back to the middle one so see what will happen and then enter cross section only click as you can see we have a different shape however we have the same drawing and they are located in the same uh, height but because of the other we have different uh, shape so just be in mind that this may happen so this one here have a hole and this one does not have a hole and they are different uh, drawing as you can see okay uh, now let's go to the next one which is on here so we'll do the same loft the first one is uh, the bottom we go to the middle ones and then we go to the last one enter and then cross section on i will also do uh, the the opposite one and here we will also see another uh, aspect which is very important that i want to tell you okay let's activate the command here we'll start now from the bottom go to the to the old one to the uh, the the end now because this uh, sequel is outside of uh, the loft it, it will not be possible to uh, to to use 
at this time if we use we all uh, is available to use like two of them not three of them so if I, if i come here and click see what happened so this one is outside if I, if you click there so nothing happened so why because when one of them is outside it's not possible to make two of them i will just uh, go back and then uh, do the next step we also make another uh, another here command what will be path we have the guide and cross section only so we now will talk about the path so we'll just here make another uh, drawing just a uh, pull line to give here an example this is a simple pull line now we'll, we'll go to the top we'll go just come here to this custom view and then go to the top and then we'll just also here change the drawing we are on the top and we'll make here a drawing from the top so it will be uh, just here make uh, another sequel okay no sequel is better okay sequel and now this is the point and then make the sequel like that gonna be uh, let's see two and uh, we can also make another one so in this case the other one i will make in uh, in the front to make in front we just come here change the, the view from the front okay it's some drawing and uh, just here change let's just remove this uh, grid here remove the grid now we can also make here um, another sequel from the front so we just activate first front and uh, from the front we're gonna make uh, the sequel which is here in this top and then good so we have here just uh, move like that okay so we have the top and the front now let's activate the, the, the loft command. We we'll come here uh, before I activate. Let's just copy also this one here. I'm gonna copy this one. Then just, okay, like that, good. Enter. Now let's uh, activate the loft. We have it loft. We're gonna activate first this one here and then it goes to the next one, which is this one here. So we have the, now when we give enter, we have the other option, which is the path. Just click the path. What is the path? This is the path. Done. So as you can see, we have done, you know, uh, this drawing using the path. I can also uh, remove the face. To remove the face, just uh, come here to uh, to the shell. If you don't have the shell, just come here to this uh, first option is always separate. And then find out the shell. What is the shell here? select these objects and then select the face this is the face find also another face which is uh, this one this face and then give enter specify the, the which is one and then enter okay now we can see here so we make we made the hole uh, using the face okay now we can also use an, an, another option which is uh, uh, the guide how can we use the guide Use the guide. Uh, I can also he, uh, here. I'm gonna use um, uh, another on the top. I'm gonna use from the top. Come here to the custom view. Put the top. Okay. Uh, from this top, I'm gonna use uh, a square. Let's just make here a small, a small square here on the bottom like that. Okay, good. Okay, like that's better. Okay, and uh, we're gonna move just. Select the object and then move what is the mid this is the middle and also here the middle middle okay now we have here the center click here to the center that come here to this one here done i'm gonna delete this um, circle and we do also the same here in the front click this one go now to the to the view go to the front and uh, do the same thing so normally uh I'll just go back to the drawing this one here and then do the same thing let's uh, find out another another okay another okay this one here rectangle goods move the rectangle select the object enter find out the middle okay the add center and then come here to this to the end point of this pull line done so we we here have uh, this one here now uh we're gonna make the loft but uh, before we need to make also another pull line from uh this middle here then 
Okay, now uh, can it be to the to the right position? Okay, okay, now good. Now can I here make a pull line from this point, this point, and then come here to to this the middle of this one here. Good. Make another one from this from this middle can be also here. Okay, now let's let's move on to can make here from this point good and then come also to the bottom okay good enter so we can now uh, make uh, here the loft select loft here select the object that we want to loft this one and this one okay enter we have other option so with this guide select the guide we're gonna use this one here okay and this old one the bottom and then enter done so this is the way we we can use um, uh, the guide so we have used uh, the loft using uh, uh, cross section only the path and the guide so that's the way we use uh, uh, the loft and uh, if you want you can also make um, here the, the color change the color right as we already learned from the other lesson and uh, double click and then change the color so that way we use uh, the loft i hope you like and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel help the channel by subscribing and uh, activate the notification uh, button so that you can also uh, uh, have the access for the new videos that we are up uploading and please see you to the next uh, lesson